Welcome to our short tutorial on determining residual limb measurements using TF Design. TF Design lets you order check sockets from Autobox service fabrication without elaborate plaster casting. As we require just a few dimensions, it's important that the measurements are precise. In this video, I'll show you how to take the measurements. I start by measuring the length, and I use the 743S10 calipers for this. I determine the length by finding the ischial tuberosity. Then sliding the calipers underneath and asking the user whether I'm in the right spot. Yes. When the patient's muscles are relaxed, I apply a bit of pressure as I guide the calipers under the end of the residual limb, read the measurement and note it on the measurement form. Next, we measure the circumference using the preset calipers and the 743B4 spring tensioned measuring tape. The length of the residual limb is still set and we position the calipers on the lateral side of the thigh. We mark the first measurement 3 cm below the ischial tuberosity. Then 5 cm from the distal end and a measurement in the middle as well. We take three measurements even if the residual limb is long and has a consistent volume. For more complex ones, we would take four or five. After I've made a note of the height on the measurement form, I then measure the circumference directly at the marks we've made. We take the top measurement at a 90 degree angle. If the ischial tuberosity has been identified correctly, this dimension is at the same level as the perineum. I apply just a bit of pressure and make a note of this measurement. I do the same for the middle dimension And for the last one. To find the bony ML measurement, we use the 743S20 calipers and the corresponding angle supports for women or men. To find the ML dimension, we slide the calipers below the ramus enclose it and lock it at an angle of 90 degrees. We then move the calipers in the lateral direction. And when the movement is transferred to the user at a ratio of 1 to 1, we know we've got the right spot. Read off the measurement and fill it in on the order form. If you're taking measurements with liners, the same basic tips and instructions apply as without. The main thing is to take the measurements directly on top of the liner. For new fittings, it's helpful if you've already carried out compression therapy a week ahead of time and put the liner on the user 30 minutes before you take the measurements. The one difference is that we measure to the end of the liner cap when taking the length measurement. For liner fittings, we mark the height of the circumference measurement on a bit of adhesive tape. As the measurements must be very accurate, we recommend taking them two or three times so you obtain a precise value. And finally, we enter all of the dimensions in the software. Alternatively, you can also send in the completed measurement form directly.